Mm. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. My name is Helen. I'm in Zone 9B. I'm in the Houston, Texas area and a little bit on the outskirts. And I'm growing food in my backyard. Uh, the goal for this year, for 2024, is to be as sustainable as I can be when it comes to fruits and vegetables. I'm trying to figure out how to grow as much food as I can so that I don't rely on these stores and all of the produce that has been modified so yeah i am a plant-based eater i eat mainly plants every blue moon i'll throw a piece of fish in there a couple of times a year but for the most part i prefer <laughs> to only eat plants um yeah I, i'll eat a, a couple of shrimps here and there and be sick as a dog so i know my body prefers plants and i'm enjoying the lifestyle it feels really good i feel healthy i'm um a lot of energy too so so what are we doing today so i was out here today because I am keeping a journal this year. I want to make sure I'm journaling like what I'm growing in the different areas and what I'm doing daily. So I can go back and look and say, I planted this seed around this time and this is what happens. So I want to be more mindful of the seeds I'm planting, um, the areas I'm planting up when it comes to like certain flowers and certain uh, veggies because I did this last year where I planted really early for tomatoes and people kept saying it's too early, it's too early. You know, we get these cold days. When we get cold days here in Texas, like we got two for last past days where it was like one was a high of 60 something, one was a high of 50 something, low of 40 something. It was two days and today we're back at 78 and then tomorrow at 79. You see what I'm saying? So we'll get those drops here and there, which I think is okay for my plants. It doesn't go below freezing or anything like that. And it's quick and before the ground can get too cold it's back warm so i'm good with it and i just want to do more documentation on it plus the seeds i'm dropping um, i'm very familiar with saying oh i'm growing peaches or i'm growing kale or zinnias but i want to be able to say like the type of flower i'm growing like if it's a moon flower i want to be able to know the species the variety of the flower right or the fruit or vegetable so i've been trying to do better with when I document like what I'm doing, like for the day or what I've done in the garden, then I'll go back and add in the seed packet. Then I'll know not only the variety of seed, the name of the seed, but the company that the seed um, came from. So I'll know, okay, so that was Dollar Tree honey and it did its thing. Like last year, Dollar Tree showed out with the seeds when it came to my zucchini. Um, you remember I dropped seeds in my planter. They're, they're on the front porch now. And the seed for Dollar Tree actually sprouted faster, actually produced more than the one I got from Burpee. It was crazy. It was crazy. And same soil, same container. So anyway, um, I just want to be more mindful of what I'm planting from what company and go from there. And, you know, if it doesn't grow, I have low germination, I'll know what seeds it was. And I'm just trying to be more proactive so it takes literally two three minutes to write like this is what i'm doing today so today i am talking to you all about container gardening and there's a few containers over here there's some flowers or some plants need to come out and then i have my seeds here <clears throat> sorry to replace what is uh what needs to be replaced so i have these I kind of know what area I'm putting, like some of these other ones that are growing right here in front of me. I have some of this tray that's popping out that I'm excited to see grow. And it's varieties I've never grown from before, uh, basically some from Baker Creek. So when they come through, I don't even know if y'all can see this. Oh, no. So when they start popping through and the weather increase a little bit, it's gonna be pretty good. I don't, we don't have to really worry about like greenhouses down here or anything like that. I just put my seeds in these containers. Y'all leave my sides in the element as they're growing. It heats up here really quickly and they pop out and they grow. So I don't really worry about like heat mats, lights, window seals. We don't have that type of temps down here to even deal with that type of. I mean, I can see having one because I had one um, that blew away. But yeah, for the most part, I can germinate seeds in these trays outdoors and it's pretty cool. So anyway containers container gardening is perfect for like the beginner gardener it's perfect for those who have small spaces maybe you want to grow on a patio maybe you're just starting off and you just want to see is this something i want to do and you don't want to invest a lot of money into growing food um i would suggest starting with containers such as like 
pots or grow bags. Grow bags are less expensive because you can get several in a pack and you can grow a lot of food in these grow bags from like, they have small ones like two, three gallons, one gallon, all the way up to like 20 gallons and 40 gallons, a hundred and something, looks like a baby pool. And you can grow like salsa gardens or tomatoes and all kinds of things and herbs and okra and corn, okay? I know someone grows corn in her bags. Last year I grew corn in my bags and ants ate them up. But uh, yeah, it's so cool to see people grow so many things in bags. I actually have trees, a persimmon tree and an apple tree in my bags. And I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and someone asked me about the tomatoes that I'm growing. So this video might be a little lengthy. Grab you a snack, a coffee, tea, whatever it is friend, that you need. And let's just go out here and see what we're growing in these containers and i'll be kind of more specific about the containers and why i'm using certain containers in the garden so we're going to start here at the back door we have lemongrass here i just recently moved this here but lemongrass is really good it's supposed to be a deterrent for certain bugs or whatever really and truly it's very fragrant full and it's good i think it's best used as an oil when you want to like rubbing your skin in regards to mosquitoes and stuff like that but i just have it here right now these containers right here these two have seeds in them and old plants like the mint comes back every year in this pot very full very luscious and i make sure that mint stays in containers because it's very evasive once it hits the ground girl my whole yard would be mint if i let it grow and then it's hard to get rid of that you end up having to pull up from the roots burn the ground we're not doing that so we make sure we keep um mint and lemongrass and containers so these containers are very cheap we got these from family dollar they work for what they are um i would say a, a container such as a grow bag would be good as well but we got these it was affordable they work for us i use it this is something i would think was pretty cool for like but like i said lemongrass lemon balm mint something you need to contain now this right here is a cherry tree and it's actually in a grow bag this is one of the larger size grow bags and just so you can see how big this is and how it expands i like the fact that the grow bags allow, allow air to circulate so the roots can grow um outward and not just keep circulating in, in circle and being tight inside they give room to actually breathe and move about so this is new for me this year let me tell you what i did so i took a grow bag planted me a cucumber and added the tray that was gifted to me from angela seam these are really nice deep trays so as i water this when this starts to fill up that i know okay that's enough water i think this is going to help me out with keeping my cucumbers fed with water right hydrated i originally grew them in the ground last year and you see how hard this ground is it just didn't help it didn't absorb enough moisture for my cucumbers even though I, we produce a ton y'all they end up dying on us whatever i just feel like i would produce more using these grow bags so i'm using grow bags this year i kind of filled them up i put some cedar mulch around the top fold them over and now we got these trays that we can hope collect like water and it will feed it from the bottom on this side i have the grow bag with the mulch as well as the tray so we'll just see how that goes stay tuned for that but i definitely recommend growing cucumbers and grow bags y'all with a arch a trellis a cattle panel anything like that because one they're one they're climbers right and they're going to grow but it's easier to water right at that root where that plant is once it starts growing um this is also a little new to me this year I wanted like a small cottage area, something where I could put a little bench here or maybe my um, hammock and sit and chill and just be surrounded by beautiful flowers, butterflies, bees, all the things, right? And so I planted a bunch of flowers in these containers. Now some of these are containers that you can water from the bottom and they wick up to the top and they hold the moisture for the flowers which i'm hoping that they'll help my flowers stay hydrated then we got a few of these containers that are like double lined or something like that from ross you remember i said that these actually came from dollar tree these little beige ones and then another one of these barrels from dollar general <clears throat> they also have these at lowe's and home depot too if you're interested in finding those type of barrel like planters now these planters right here these big huge red ones came from sam's at one point and I don't know, Sam's used to sell them for $19, $20, $24, something like that. And I had trees in them. 
I don't think the holes at the bottom were big enough to actually drain well enough for those trees. So we did end up moving those trees to grow bags so we can see what we can do about those roots and get those trees growing properly. But I kept the planters because we will fill them up with leaves, hay, and some soil. And we will plant some really nice, beautiful flowers. And hopefully this area will be a flower garden, like a cottage-like style flower garden. All right, so as I said it before, I do have a few trees and bushes that are in these big, huge red pots and this one is the plump clot as you see it's already flowering um because it's already flowering i did not take the time to dig it out and put it in a grow bag this year i do have some 20 gallon grow bags that i want to transfer this to to get the roots some breathing room and whatnot but i just didn't make it in time this year so if it doesn't give me fruit this year i'm going to trim all this back and we're going to put this in grow bags but once again it's okay to pot up your trees make sure you're feeding them properly and pots if you can't put them in grounds yet all right and this is like a temporary hole i'm just holding it for a couple years until i'm ready to put it in the ground all right so this right here is recent we just put this together you just saw me do this video i'll link this down below but i'm so excited to have this it's way bigger than what i thought but this is perfect for that small area maybe you have a backyard where you walk along the side like you open a gate walk along the side and it's a slim area it's going to put like a small garden inside the house this is very slim this is eight feet wide but it's um eight feet long two feet wide so it doesn't take up a lot of footprint um it's just along the fence line very thin doesn't take up a lot of space and you can grow a lot in here if you're doing the 12 inch or the square foot method then it's 16 plants and if you want to plant something in between them that brings pollinators like flowers and stuff like that you can add another 12 plants 8 to 12 plants in there in between these plants and you end up having like a good you know i don't know 24 plants like it's crazy how much you can grow in this space when it comes to like small plants tall plants like i'm probably going to grow some okra in here and then have the okra up top and then the plants that need to be a little bit shaded down below and that way i can grow more in the space but this is perfect for a container gardening if you just want to do one container just to start off but you want to do a really nice quickly put together <laughs> y'all this took like no time to put together this is crazy um yeah i definitely suggest this just know you need to fill it up with like leaves or hay or something cardboard wood and then do your soil on top you don't want to fill this all the way up the soil that's expensive more grow bags and then we also have a pear tree that's in that red pot that i didn't move this year and it is also flowering it actually gives me about a good eight or ten pears every year so once we hit it in the ground or put it in a grow bag it's probably going to give us a ton of fruit but yeah we have a lemon tree bush or lemon bush on what you call it my lemon we have some strawberries and blueberries and then we have some spinach and some other stuff growing back there and yeah they're all in grow bags and you can companion your plant you don't have to plant one thing in a bag you can plant several things in a bag because the bags are so large in space or you can plant smaller things and get smaller grow bags okay so we're gonna head on over here to we'll do the grow towers in a minute but let me show you something real quick that was gifted to me last year in this particular bag i grew tomatoes and it was one of those tomatoes that like the little small cherry tomatoes that hundred i forget what it's called a hundred something tomato right sweet 100 and it has these holes at the bottom so these are perfect for strawberries peppers tomatoes whatever you want to put in here i wouldn't put like zucchini squash or something like that but anything that's smaller and root size it doesn't go too deep um and the smaller like size of a vegetable like the smaller like cayenne peppers that kind of thing right listen i put that in here and i had so many tomatoes it was just so crazy and so beautiful and so full i definitely recommend this this is the second year on this bag as you see it's still yet holding on i'll link these two and imagine having several coming out the pockets but because i was growing cherry tomatoes i knew it would be needed more room to grow and so that's why i end up just putting one but i might put a couple in this year okay so let's step back and let's talk about this container right here this container right here came from walmart i linked it a couple years ago i haven't seen i think they discontinued these but if i can find in these expert gardener boxes i've seen them on other sites i'll link them so i would say oh shoot <laughs> golly anyway so i would say that this particular box 
basically lasts me four years three or four years you can see the wood pieces are starting to come off now from all the watering whatever i could just replace the liner inside and screw that back on if i wanted to i did get rid of the other two boxes because we moved them and i broke a leg but for the most part once you set them up and leave them they're pretty good for a couple of years if you just want to start off with the cute boxes at the front porch or just something small at your back door for a kitchen garden i definitely recommend something like this as well and as you see there's a lot going on here we have parsley we have some pretty flowers like some pansies that's in here as well just sitting there and then we have of course some tomatoes so last year i put tomatoes in here too and i just let them grow up steaks and it was just beautiful how they would just grow in a small area so i definitely recommend these small boxes for um i think this is some more onions or maybe this is like garlic chives but I definitely recommend these small boxes like this for small space gardening. Or maybe you have a, a small kid that wants to grow food. You just get them one of these boxes, y'all. Lay them with a little bit of cedar mulch or some hay, like I said, uh, leaves, some soil. Drop some seeds and let them grow, right? And then, of course, some more grow bags here. Loving these grow bags. They're just, yeah, I love these grow bags. I'm just going to get more saucers to put underneath because I think that's going to be the perfect solution for our hot weather temps here in all right, so you see here, this is the um, pepper plant from last year where I grew a ton of those um, red cayenne peppers from this. It was so many. If I could find any pictures of some, I'll plug them in, but for the most part, I'll probably have to pull this one out because this is from last year. But you see how good this bag looks like? This bag still looks good. It still looks good. This is crazy. These are really good quality bags. This year, I pulled out the red one. I've already planted a pepper in here as you see and i forgot to label this one as a matter of fact but anyway i already planted a pepper in here and it's just on my tea post right here just another way to kind of like decorate your tea post and we're not having these ugly things just sitting out you know all over the place but this is perfect for container gardening if you want to hang them from like the ceiling of your balcony in your apartment or something like that i definitely suggest these bags where you can grow vertically well it's going down but you know what i mean up and down or you know the grow bags can be on the ground while these are up top and i will put a grow bag underneath it so as you water here and water comes through it can go straight into your grow bag you're not losing water so let's talk greenstock grow tower that's why i'm out here today and they do have them on their website at really good prices they often put them on sale they had a sale recently for valentine's well, you would buy one at regular price and get the second one for 60% off. I just wasn't in a um, position to get one at the time. Otherwise, I would have got two. Okay, two greens or two blues, honey. Because those colors are just so beautiful right now. Even the red is so cute to me. But anyway, you can also get these off Amazon. But I would say both sites allow like that paying for or whatever it is. Like the little payment plan. So, you don't have to worry about trying to pay for it all at once. Alright, so with these right here, this one is one, two, three, four, five tier with I think it's six pockets around. That's 30 plants that you can grow at one time. And I don't mean little baby plants, honey. I grew okra in here. I grew bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, I grew pavano peppers, I grew okra, I grew what's the other thing? Um eggplant. I grew so much in these things just to experiment for the last two years. Now that I know what I can grow how things do grow i'm more comfortable with these and i would definitely suggest these i would suggest these for your back patio um because i feel like it wouldn't stain your back patio like those with those black containers but now that they i know about the trays I, i'm feeling kind of confident about the black bags because i'm telling you originally it was all about the green stock tower so i like the watering system i do not have a top for mine we don't have a tree here my neighbor does and often sometimes like leaves will come over but it's not that many where i can't clean them out but they do have a top that you can cover here if you have trees you want to keep debris out your container but and they also have one with a stand and with wheels i just bought these what are these like 18 by 18 i don't need squares and i just sit them on the squares i don't worry about rotating i get sun all the way around my actual grow towers and food grows all the way around okay so someone asked me about the variety of tomatoes we're growing so i guess we'll get into that really quickly i'll try to go as fast as i can so to be fair i have a lot of tomatoes growing so if you are only here for the containers what i think about these containers i think you should purchase these and start here i think you can grow 30 plants here whether it's fruits vegetables strawberries 
um like i said all different varieties definitely get you a green stock tower honey you can grow so much in such a small footprint when it comes to growing food now for those who are here for the tomatoes here we go it's quite a bit of them i try to go as fast as i can this one right here is a chocolate cherry and it can grow up to 36 inches it just says sweet and flavor we shall see okay this one right here is amelia this one says so this one came from the this one came from Chanet Gardens. I want to say this one did too. 60 to 80 days to mature and the fruit size is up to 8 ounces. Alright. Over here. I have to do some editing over here today. This is a salad tomato. This is Camaro. And this one right here says it is tasty, medium sized slicers. Compact plants are suited for growing in container. Here, let's go ahead and get this bottom stem off because we want all the bottom stems we need to water today just so you know i'll be doing that in a minute oh this one didn't have a label because this is probably one of the ones where i was getting all those plants and they had several in a container so once it starts growing i know what it is for sure all right so this is what i was doing i was putting them all on these sticks so i wouldn't have to dig for them this one right here is a patio tomato it matures in 70 days and this size is three to four ounces they're gonna be these really small cute little um tomatoes for sure this one is a sugary tomato i've never grown this one before and it says very sweet cherry sized fruit are produced in um what this is oh grape like clusters Grows in 60 days, okay, up to 36 inches. So, yeah, we shall see. I've already stripped this one all the way down. And it looks good and healthy. All right, so this one right here is an old German. And this one says matures in 75 days. And they, the tomatoes can be up to like one pound for these. So these will be a little bit larger in size. So I make sure I'm feeding them properly too because of the size of them. This is Camello Carmelo, 6 to 12 ounce fruits disease and crack resistance honey we will test this one out for ourselves we'll see if it really is disease and crack resistance all right let's head over here this one is tomato black creme now these came from my garden center i could tell by that lat that um that tag or whatever so i've grown them before those are good i ate them last year so I already know what I'm up against with that one. This one right here is Matt's Wild Cherry. This one says it grows up to 36 inches. So what I tried to do was put plants in here that grew no more than 48 inches, basically. I tried to stick it 36 inches because I had some that grew so tall, I had to end up hooking them onto the fence last year in these towers. So I don't want to do that this year. So this one right here is a Husky Cherry Tomato kind of shaded a little bit from these greens right now but this is what it looks like um it's another one around here this is another husky cherry because i think this is the one we split and i think that's it for this one this particular tower when it comes to tomatoes oh uh, it's one back here and this one doesn't have a tag either so I'm not sure what this one is, but I do know that a lot of containers had more than one tomato, so I just split them up. All right, heading over here to this tower. This tower is the herb and tomato tower. So you're going to see a lot of really nice complimented herbs when it comes to basil, oregano in here. So this one is the Celebrity Plus, up to 36 inches. And that's what it looks like. It looks really good and healthy. I just need to get these bottom stems off of them. They keep going back. All right, so this one is the Celebrity Plus. You can always find them, I think, at the Garden Center. Oh, this one I didn't put on the pops of the stick. This is Tomato Yellow Pear. Not really worried about that. But once these grow, I know exactly what these look like. These are the ones I grew a lot last year, and they actually lasted throughout winter. This one right here is Yellow Pear as well. These get big, y'all. They just get tall. Even though it says it's not, but it, it actually does get tall. But that's why they're closer to the bottom so they can grow upwards. This one is Husky Cherry. Look how lush this one looks. This one looks so much better than the one that's in that bag already. Interesting. 
Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. All right, so not there, not there. Okay, here. This one don't have a tag, but look how good this looks. I bet that's another Husky. All right, and this one right here is Husky 2. Look how pretty these are, though. Wow. Okay, yeah. So they're coming in. They're looking really good. I can say so myself. I'm excited about that for sure. All right, so over here is another, like, green leaf, like, tower but i had some extra tomatoes that i wanted to drop in here so i did and here's one right here i don't have the tag on that one i think that was just the extra one that came in a pack and just to pop it somewhere yeah i think that's it i don't think it's any more around here right nope but this is one of the towers i'm definitely cleaning up today because there's an empty pocket right there no empty pockets this year nope we're gonna have a full garden this year for sure all right, so over here, this one also is going to be like, like leafy, like leafy vegetables, like your chard, your um, dinosaur kale and stuff, and as well as like peppers in this tower. I might have a tomato over here. I don't think so. I think that was it for tomatoes. Um, that might be it for tomatoes. Look at this lettuce. This lettuce looks really good. Yeah, I think that's it for tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is when the rest of the tomatoes start sprouting and I'm ready to drop some tomatoes into the garden from the ones I am growing from seed, I have little pockets of places I kind of want to put them in. Even though all this is heavily seeded, y'all, <laughs> I actually come thin this out. Let me show you. Let me just extend this camera. This right here is actually, what do you call those little things? Oh man, radish. I really need to thin that out. I really need to thin that out. And there's some more over here. There's some more back there. I just want to get close up so you can actually see this is not just weeds. And see these little, those are all plants coming through. I have my little compost already dug in here, so we're good to go on that. These right here are popping up. It's crazy how stuff just start popping up. But anyway, that is the tomatoes I'm growing currently. To say here in Houston, we're lucky enough to have a lot of gardens um, and a lot of nurseries that are available that sells like their um, starters or whatever. We I actually have, I actually have someone that's local to me that's not too far, and she plants up a lot of these little pots with uh, starters with different varieties and she sells her plants too i think they're like 249 a piece right really nice heirloom like tomato uh seed seedlings or whatever and i might pick out a few from her just to support her um uh, her nursery her backyard nursery but yeah we're look we're very lucky here in houston to have so many nurseries so many gardens where we're able to go and shop for these different types of plants at very affordable prices. And I always tell y'all, I like to shop for the plants for $1.99 and I try to find the one that has more than one plant in it. <laughs> so I feel like I'm paying a dollar or 50 cent a plant, right? So I'm basically gonna go through these towers. I only noticed a few other plants that I need to pull. I did pull some mustards yesterday. I cooked a bunch of that yesterday. Chopped up a bunch of that for a rice stir fry for the kids yesterday. Instead of doing like the spinach that we normally put in our stir fry. And so all that's been taken care of. And I just found out that I can actually eat the flowers of the mustard seed. So I might toss that in a salad today just to see what it tastes like. But thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video and me being more specific about the plants I'm growing. I tried to when I hauled them to show you what I'm growing. But I guess it helps to see what I'm putting in grow bags and what I'm putting in grow towers. And I hope this helps you to um, maybe look into growing in a container and containing your food. Like, I think it's perfect with the space. It's less work. <laughs> okay all that digging and tilling and whatever i mean yes at the end of the year i go through and amend my soil i do go through and fertilize my soil at the beginning of the month uh, with the alaskan fish fertilizer and i do go through and top off soil every time i have to take a plant out i'm taking out soil so i'm replacing i do but it's not like tending to these beds and it can be back breaking it can be exhausting bending over picking weeds whatever i just feel like i have um 
less weeds if no weeds i feel like i can grow more food in a small space i feel like it's definitely worth the money i think i'll get my money back within a year or a season like i feel like it's a really good investment and you get your money back within the season i really believe that and if you notice last year we didn't go grocery shopping for like uh, tomatoes and onions and red onions yeah but there was a lot of kale and lettuce like we had so much there was no need to go shop for certain vegetables right and so that's where i'm at right now how can i be more sustainable how can i save more money and using these seeds and yes i did spend about maybe 60 bucks on a bunch of plants and that includes peppers and everything but then i feel like i got like 80 plants out of it because i was able to split a lot of those plants so i feel like i got more bang for my buck right and it's a head start and while i'm succession planting i already have a head start on what i want to do so yeah anyway i've already set out the seeds for my um bins back here too i already know what i want to drop in them and growing them it'll probably be okra because that is the sun spot right there that is the sun spot okra and sunflowers can you imagine at your window and it's big beautiful yellow okra flowers and sunflowers just yeah that's going to be beautiful so stay tuned for that we'll plant that up together i've already harassed christopher's dad <laughs> i'm bringing me bags he has a huge property in his backyard with a lot of leaves and without any pests or um what do you call it or any pets and he doesn't put chemicals on his grass so perfect i was just like yes you have the perfect leaf situation and i'll take all your bags so it's gonna be fun potting that up i'm super excited super thankful and grateful to andrew for sending that super thankful and grateful for the person who sent me the arch too because we we're about to put that together for him probably today i'm so excited i'm so excited about the growing season i don't know i'm about to be to watch all these spring um videos there is out there i hope you will do too if you have any spring um gardening um people you're following or watching and you want to suggest them to me i'm probably already following them but put them down below I don't care the size of the channel, the person, what they're growing. I just want to see. I don't care the zone. I just want to see all things beautiful and feel. I just love the feeling of seeing other people grow food and flowers. So, yeah, especially cottage style, like gardens. I'm obsessed with it. It's just so beautiful to me. So, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's a beautiful day. My sister wants to go to the rodeo. Yeah, I've been so in silence and mode and just like trying to go within right now with a lot of things and just trying to like deal with some things internally and just work through some things i'm like girl i don't want to go and she was like we going <laughs> y'all know how it is we got an older sister that bully you so we'll probably end up going but anyway i'll see y'all in the next video peace and blessings